before ever faithful ever reliable god we are grateful to you our healer we thank you blessed be your holy name for your healing hand for your healing power we say thank you for restoration for recovery for turning our story around for changing every level we bless you for disgracing the works of the wicked we thank you mighty god for delivering your people from the bands of affliction thank you again for the instant miracles and healing that will take place tonight i am grateful when you stretch your hand no one can turn it back lord i give you praise for that which you are set to do i give you glory for that which you are bringing to pass i give you praise for that which you are set to do i give you glory for that which you are bringing to pass let your name be glorified thank you for somebody's testimony that is bringing forth in this service blessed be your holy name in jesus mighty name we have prayed Amen. let the redeemer of the lord say so congratulations please get seated god bless you engaging the power of vision I mean, the power of violent prayer for instant healing. Engaging the power of violent prayer for instant healing. Every healing that must take place can only be by force. Satan is not a gentleman. I'd like us to understand you are not dealing with a gentle devil. <laughs> Did you hear what I said? You are not dealing with a gentle devil. I've not seen anyone that got healed by negotiation. Everyone that was healed got healed by violence. The violent take at it. Our inheritance in this kingdom often requires violent approach. Jesus himself said, not uh, one prophet or one uh, apostle. He said, since the day of John the Baptist, the kingdom of God suffered violence, and the violent take at it. So if you must take anything, <laughs> you must take the approach of violence. If not, you take nothing. Tell your neighbor you take nothing. In Deuteronomy chapter 2, I think verse 24, God said, I have given you Sihon the Amorite, king of Hezbon. Is it 20, 24? 24. Sihon the Amorite, the king of Hezbon, and his land. He said, begin to possess it and contend with him in battle. I have given you so if you must possess it, you must contend. If you must possess it, you must contend. If you don't contend, you will not take. If you don't contend, you will not obtain. If you don't contend, you will not take, you will not obtain. So our inheritance in this kingdom requires violence for it to be delivered. So you don't take it in. Eh? Father, if it's your will to heal me, heal me. You go there, they are rotting. The man by the pool of Bethesda was always there. When the angel comes to stare, he was there. Now, I will I, I will Conclude in my heart that the man knew when the thing normally takes place. How can you be there for 38 years? You, you know the atmosphere. You know the atmosphere that it normally takes place and still you keep missing it. Will thou be made whole? He said, I have no man. Nobody is responsible for your taking. I like the way Papa puts it. You are absolutely responsible 
for the outcome of your total destiny. You are responsible. Now in prosperity, now you are responsible. Nobody. You. Who? Nobody. You are what? Responsible. You are responsible for your progress. You are responsible for your success. You are responsible also for your well-being. I wish above all things that thou may prosper and be in health. Even as thy soul prospereth, you are responsible. That is why until you react, God never acts. Every act of God is tied to the reaction of man. Every act of God. So if you want to see God react in your, act in your favor, there must be a reaction. There must be a positive reaction for God to act in your favor. Peter and John at the beautiful gate say when they have perceived that this man had faith to be healed. <laughs> Even God sees our faith when something new is about to take place. When they perceive that this man had faith to be healed. When you say yes, God can't say no. When your faith is saying, Lord, it is now, he will not tell you, wait, I'm not ready. My power has not gingered up where. No. He said, do not say to your neighbor, go and come tomorrow when you have it right there with you. So the day you mean it, that's the day God will mean it. So our inheritance in this kingdom will require a violent approach. Violent approach. If you don't take the violent approach, you continue to remain a reproach. <laughs> Sickness can reproach you for long, but the day you react, the day you react, that's the day the reproach comes to an end. So everyone that will experience Rest in his health we require to press. If you don't press, remain to remain oppressed. If you don't press, you are not permitted to enter your rest. Paul said this, one thing I do, I press. You keep pressing. You keep pressing. You press in prayer. You keep pressing in prayer. He that accepts, receiveth. He that seeketh, findeth. He that knocketh. There's a way you will knock. Even when the person doesn't want to open the door, you must come out. Let me answer this person so that you allow me to rest. So the more you press, the more something is bound to happen. Nothing happens without a press. Nothing happens without a press. You keep pressing. You keep pressing. Pressing is the only way out. Now, pressing is an expression of your persistence. You press aggressively. You press persistently. Lord, it is possible with you. You are not a liar. You are my healer. You cannot tell me to go and come back tomorrow. In Luke chapter 18, Jesus said, if that unjust judge could answer that widow that troubled her, he said, how much more will your heavenly father? He said, I will answer her lest she weary me. <laughs> there is a point you press that God must answer. Are you what I'm saying now? I have not said to the seed of Jacob, seek me in vain. So you can't be seeking God and be thinking that a God will not answer you. No. There is already a commitment. You shall call upon me and I will answer you. So everyone that is pressing must get an answer. I say you must get an answer. So if you are not ready to press for your blessing, then you live without the blessing. You must press. You keep pressing until you get it. No wonder. Job said, all the days of my appointed time will I wait until my change come. I will press. You are pressing for a change and you know that that change will come. You keep, you keep pressing. Why? Because it must answer. 
all the days of my appointed time will I wait until my change come. That two blind men, they cried violently until Jesus got their attention. Likewise also, blind Bartimaeus, it was not a normal cry. Let's say in that crowd they were close to, let's not make it too big, 500. Jesus, thou son of David, have mercy on me. Keep quiet. Can't you see the administration is taking place? That's the normal thing that ushers will do. Am I correct? <laughs> That's the normal reaction from who? Ushers. I was reading a story somebody posted to me that um, the late Stella Obasanjo visited a particular place. So she has finished her function, so they were escorting her with all the SSS men around. So she was, that lady was shouting, Auntie Star! Auntie Star! Auntie Star! She quickly knew that nobody can call me this name if the person was not in my school. So she now turned, told the protocol officer, call that person that is calling me. That person know me, rich ground. Are you what I'm saying now? So they now call her. He said, Auntie Star, I was your junior. We were in the same hostel. This is my name. Oh, she said, how are you? He said, I'm fine. That uh, this one happened to me. Her husband passed on. So she now asked her, what do you want me to do for what do you want me to do for you? Anything. What do you want me to do for you? Anything. What do you want me to do for you? Anything. So she now brought out her complimentary card. You will learn a lesson from this. She now brought her complimentary card that I'll be traveling in two weeks' time, coming back. And he gave her 50000 And she never came back. If she had said five million, if she had said, give me work, if she had said, give me car, give my children school, give my children scholarship, give me car, it will have been done. Even if she had said, give me contract, it will have been done. She said, anything. Anything is not enough. <laughs> God is a God of the specifics. <laughs> God is a God of what? So she, since she said anything now, just pull out the 50... That's in bundle and gave to her. In two weeks' time, she didn't come back. When Jesus called him, what will thou have me do for you? He said, Lord, I want to receive my sight. Not that you drop ten cup that will make baganaga. Are you hearing me now? That bagaraga may end. That I may receive my what? Sight. And Jesus hid him instantly. Now, should I tell you something? Now, I'd like you to also agree with me that there were people around who must have been making noise, but she was hearing anti star. Anti star. Anti star. <laughs> And say, I know this person. This person know me. Protocol one, I wait first. Call that person. Should I tell you something? God knows your voice. And he's waiting to hear you. You, you, might, you might say now that uh, you have been calling, calling, calling. He doesn't want to ask. It's a lie. You have not called enough. You have not done what? Call enough. How when did you say you started calling? Every calling is registered though. You call today, they didn't ask, answer you. Call again. Prayer is sowing. <laughs> do, do you know what? In the morning, so thy seed. In the morning, in the evening, we told not thy hand. For thou knowest not if that of the day or that of the night. Or God will make both alike to be good. But hear me, don't be weary in calling. You must get an answer. If 
God is selective in answering, he shouldn't have answered Jacob. He shouldn't have answered Jacob. Crooked. Jacob was the one that started 419. Scripture called him a swindler. He was the one that started 419. Oh, bitty. But that particular day, he said, I will not let thee go except you bless me. And that particular day, heaven showed up for him. Heaven showed up for him. Heaven will show up for you. So you need a violent approach, a persistent knocking for anything you want to see, for anything you want to get from this God. You need a persistent approach. You keep pressing, you keep knocking because heaven must hear you. I say heaven must hear you. Likewise, Hezekiah, when the prophet brought the message that um, put thy house in order for today you shall surely die and not live. Me? Me? So he said, Lord, I thank you because I know the dead cannot praise you. If I die now, who will praise you? Tell me, how many persons they praise me the way they praise you? <laughs> God said, go back and tell him you will live more 15 years. You are valued in the sight of God. There is something you do that touch the heart of God. That when you call, an answer must show. When you call, an answer must show. So you must expect an answer to show. If you are saying amen, say better. Amen. amen. So Hezekiah pressed. His pressing is, <laughs> my days are not over. I can't just suddenly expire. If I die now, who will praise you? There are no two of my kind. You are correct. You are correct. Prophet, go and tell him that he will live more 15 years. I want to let you know this. You can get anything you desire from God that is written in his word if you don't throw away your violence. I've always said this before. Every normal man you see has 1% madness. May your 1% madness work for you. Amen. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. And that is the violence that our faith expresses every time we appear before God in prayer. Faith is not for gentle people. Faith is for violent people. No one that scripture says, taking the shield of faith, whereby you shall be able to quench all, not some, fiery darts. How can you be conf- confronting fiery darts and you are looking gentle? The devil you are confronted with is not gentle. So you must go violent. So the violence of faith releases the might of God. David said, I'm a man of peace, but when I speak, they are for war. You can be gentle in your outlook, but violent in the spirit. Faith is not for gentle people. Gentle people can move their life forward. And the moving of your destiny is tied to your own faith, not anybody's faith. Jesus said that just shall live by his faith. By his faith. That just shall live by his faith. Not anybody's faith. So every time your faith enters violent frequency, healing must answer. (laughs) I say healing must answer. I say healing must answer. That's why when you are praying, don't be gentle. Father Lord, are you sure it's your will that I will be healed? You say, no, it's not my will. Remain in the sickness. Since you don't know me till now, praise God. It's God's will that you should be healed. Are you what I'm saying now? 
It's gospel that I should be healed. God does not, does not use sickness to punish. Punishment is only for the wicked, not for his children. Am I correct? It's for the wicked, not for his children. And that's why I know that as we rise up to pray, whatever has been tormenting you, whatever has been afflicting you, the vengeance of God will strike it now. Amen. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. Whatever has held thee bound, Jesus said, ought this daughter of Abraham be free? Whom Satan has bound this many years? Meaning, your time of bondage is over. Amen. Whatever wants to keep you in bounds, the yoke will crash. Amen. Rise up to your feet now. Are you ready to pray? You are going to lift up your voice. Every affliction and the afflictor, I invoke vengeance upon you in the name of Jesus Christ. Lift up your voice and begin to pray. Every affliction and the afflictor, I invoke vengeance upon you in the name of Jesus Christ. Every affliction and the afflictor, I invoke the vengeance of God upon you. Every affliction and the afflictor, I invoke the vengeance of God upon you. Every affliction and the afflictor, I bring the vengeance of God upon you. Retaneku in shotete. Every affliction and the afflictor, I bring the vengeance of God upon you. Zenakutu elapa. Reclio saseku. Jesus zerieka. Pelo jikunatete. In predo on soto. In kara elope legodosha. Ezutalarash. Embrogadosos, Zeklopebre, Gleroche, Borata, in Lozado, Berata Cate, Jacuca, Breatata, Merota Cucaruji, Rosa Caca, Lecate Cucu, Jacuca Brecate Cusi Caca, Becake Yocotono Suse Cateke, in La Peredo Sutane, in Cotorushi. Neso zikre ike kutala de karabi ale koto Jesus inanenelota inke kere te kule prekete la prekete riodo every affliction and the afflictor by the vengeance fire of the anointed. I command your destruction. Be kotonu isoteka. Be yeku se kukalata. Every affliction and the afflictor. I invoke the vengeance of God upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Le koto prekle ketu ziaka. Le kreketo ziko preketeri yaketa. Jesus anage rekete rozizo lakata. Lempoyana na keke. Zusuna yekeko. Prekiko. Jekuka keko prekete kusiha. In susuna ke krekete le ziaba. Le korodo si korodo bosha. Ike krekete kozizozo. Ike krekete kozizozo. Ike krekete kozizozo. Jekuka krekete riaka. Jekuka krekete ziaka. Pelagaga. Jeluzi nama. Beketere te kozilota. Mende dono zunateta. Jekutu zindololoto. Jekutu zindololoto. Jekutu zindololoto. 
Thank you, Father. You are going to pray. By this communion, I take my liberty. I take my freedom. I take my restoration. My full recovery. Lift up your voice and begin to pray. By this communion, I take my freedom. I take my freedom. I take my liberty. By this communion, I break the bands of wickedness. I destroy the enchantments of the wicked. Every arrow of affliction, every arrow of reproach, every arrow of sickness fired against me by the blood, by this communion. Let the arrow go back. Let the arrow backfire by this communion. Let the arrow go back. Let the arrow backfire. In the name of Jesus, let the arrow go back. Let the arrow backfire. Let the arrow go back. Let the arrow backfire. Let the arrow go back. Let the arrow backfire. Resoseko brekete en susunaki kreketeros in zolotaka. Jeklope bredi esuzala. Jeklope brede esuzala. En raka katalikoto. Jerusina ketre de lisota. Thank you, my father. Blessed be your holy name. Whatever God has not planted that is attacking you from within, I decree by this communion, vengeance flush them out. Whoever fired a mysterious arrow at you, I speak for by this communion, Whatever they launch against you spiritually, let it go back against them physically. Let it go back against them physically. If you are saying amen, say better amen. So shall it be. Your recovery is complete. Affliction will not rise the second time. You will not be tormented the second time. That amen is not good enough. In Jesus' name we pray. Whatever is flying in the air as an enchantment, as a sorcery, as an invocation, programmed and fired against you, 
by this blood of sprinkling let it go back and descend upon the sender if you are saying amen say better amen wherever they are calling your name for evil let the person answer the evil call so shall it be in jesus name we pray in jesus name we pray so shall it be in jesus name we pray your enemies will be disappointed your enemies will be disappointed the invocation concerning you will fail say amen like a believer whatever they have enchanted against you backfires backfires in the name of jesus your head will not carry evil your family will not carry evil anyone that wants to use your head let their own head go let their own head go let their own head go anyone that has sponsored an enchantment for you let the enchantment catch their own leg if you are saying amen say better amen i decree your liberty now i enforce your freedom the freedom of your family the freedom of your children in the name of jesus christ it shall be well with you by this blood of sprinkling a wall of defense is lifted for you a wall of defense is lifted for you you become impenetrable no stray arrow will locate you any arrow designed for you backfires i say it backfires it shall be well with you in jesus name we pray the hand of god perfects you everything about you will be perfected in the name of jesus christ as you sprinkle this blood around your house and within your vicinity whoever has made an enchantment sponsored an arrow i speak for with prophetic grace and authority the earth picks it up and send it back to the sender the earth picks it up and send it back to the sender the earth picks it up and send it back to the sender whoever has spread poison for you within your house within your neighborhood using your clothes your material against you let vengeance strike them in the name of jesus so shall it be in jesus name we pray so shall it be in jesus name we pray tomorrow is the last day for the goodness together surely god's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives and we shall dwell in the presence of the lord forever and ever amen let the redeem of the lord say so